guys welcome back to some more afk arena so today we're over on our test server brand new patch just dropped which means we are going to check out our new mauler hero guys now overall i'm, I'm hoping it's support guys i still have my fingers crossed that he is going to be support and he is he made it guys he is support um, a lot of players were saying mage overall but look at that guys finally could he be a support hero and he is also a buffer we need a buffer we need a healer we needed that in the mauler faction let's run through his skills and abilities guys overall the model looks very very cool i love the clean looking model but let's see what he's got guys phalangit's flame so he sacrifices 20 percent of his health to increase all allies heroes life leech by 20 and haste by 15 for seven seconds now most of you know that i do not like the life leech ability that is the reason why chaos really doesn't work very well um is because with the life leech ability if a target is shielded the life leech ability does nothing so it it, it kind of sucks because if it actually does not do damage um then they don't get that life leech benefit or that heal benefit that we see with life leech Lower our target's health percent, the greater the increase of the life leech and haste value is up to 1.5 times. The increase is the highest when the health percentage is 50%. So if we do get enough haste, I guess, to offset the life leech, this could actually be pretty good. We're going to have to see exactly how it works. Now he recovers 3% of his lost health every second during the effect of the ultimate. So I'm not sure how long he casts it for. Maybe it is for that seven seconds. After using his ultimate, Sal, Sal Aki uh, permanently increases his ally hero's attack rating by 4% and life leech by 4 points. This effect can stack up to 3 times. So pretty good guys, pretty decent. So we have an increase in haste, an increase in attack rating, increase in life leech, which again, not a huge fan of, but seems like it's going to be decent depending on the team. Now the Frightened Force Field, he grants a shield to allies with the lowest health percent lasting 5 seconds, which offsets damage equal to 20% of his max health. Also terrifies the latest enemy who attacks such ally for 2.5 seconds. So not only does he offer a shield, but he is going to have kind of a damage mitigation factor right there where he's going to provide some crowd control. So definitely liking that as well. When the shield breaks or its duration ends, AoE damage equal to 140% of the attack rating and a knockback effect from where the ally landed. That could play off of Kren, that could play off an evade, that could play off a couple different things. While withering winds are in effect, the shield value is increased to 30% of the max health. So pretty cool. Seems like he's got a little bit of crowd control and again, some shielding in there. Now the withering winds. Upon entering battle, he casts a spell that unleashes withering winds across the whole battlefield that lasts for up to 30 seconds. So again, guys, battles are a minute 30, so 30 seconds is pretty big. While well, Withering Winds are in effect, all allied heroes take and deal 30% and 20% less damage, respectively. Wow. So they deal 30% more damage, take 20% less damage. The effect of the lower received damage will start diminishing five seconds after Withering Winds are cast. While well, the effect of the lower inflict inflicted damage will diminish immediately after withering winds has cast these effects will diminish to zero percent within 12 uh, 10 seconds while using the skill if is immune to crowd control if he dies it will disappear that's quite a bit guys that is quite a bit all allied heroes take and deal 30 percent and 20 percent damage respectively wow so that that's pretty interesting one right there so permanently increases damage caused by ally heroes by one percent every second after the win had been generated 15 seconds and as long as they have not disappeared withering winds are in effect damage caused by normal attacks is reduced by 20 percent and permanently reduces enemy defense rating by one percent every second after withering winds has been generated for 15 seconds and as and as long as they have not disappeared so pretty cool guys that is a pretty solid buff right there wow they take and deal that's going to be interesting again in death deferred um when Salakai is alive 25 percent of the direct damage received by allies will take effect in the form of lost health over one second for the next four seconds so it's going to be kind of a damage over time effect 
While using this active skill, Salakai assembles a dark flame and attacks the most the enemy who has dealt the most damage, inflicting damage equal to 200% on the target and all enemies in the path of the flame. So stacking enemies up could be pretty good here. Dealing damage, the help Salakai heals the allied with the lowest health percentage with the heal equal to 50% of the damage cost. The damage dealing Selakai reduces the target's attack rating by 12% and the accuracy. And then, of course, reduces delay damage by 15%. If an enemy dies, that all delayed damage caused by them is removed. So that's pretty cool as well. Let's look at the signature item, guys. Um, when Selakai Ultimate ends, all allied heroes receive a shield. Shield's value is equal to 10% of the total damage caused by allied heroes during the duration of the ultimate last five seconds. So again, he's getting a secondary shield with the signature item. Increase the shield value to 15%. Total damage caused by allied heroes for the duration of the ultimate for five seconds cannot exceed 15% of his health. Then increases the shield value to 20% of total damage caused by the duration of the ultimate cannot exceed 20%. So they keep increasing the caps on how strong the shield is going to be. If Salakai receives damage that exceeds 30% of the current health, Damage will be negated at the cost of one soul vessel. Is a cooldown of four seconds and cannot be triggered, can only be triggered up to three times. This guy seems like he, he could be pretty legit for the Maulers, guys. All right. When Flagrant's fame, Flame is used on an allied hero is being controlled, most of the control effect over the target will be lifted. The effect can be triggered by each ally up to three times per battle. Huh. So, so if the ally is being controlled, he's going to remove the crowd control aspect. And then use the frightening force field will clear all delay damage received by the target. Very interesting as well. So using the frightening force field will clear all delayed damage received by the target. So the, the damage over time effect will be removed with that 9 of 9 furniture. That's going to be very cool as well. All right, guys, let's take a look at him. The furniture tab, for some reason, just continues to um, spin. It will not load at all, but let's see what he looks like, guys. Again, I'm hoping. So there we go, guys. So he buffs up right from the beginning. You can see the little auras around here. Here comes the ultimate ability. Boom. There is the shield. There's the heals, guys. Again, upping that haste, upping that life leech ability. That's what you're seeing. The, the damage that is coming in is that life leech ability. But overall, guys, he is pretty, pretty cool looking. And there was the, the line of flames right there. I am really hoping this is the support hero that we needed, guys. Again, he he, he is pretty cool looking. I, I have to say that is pretty cool. Let's check him out in the um, Arena Guardian. So who do they give us? They give us Brutus. Of course they give us Brutus, guys. And then we have Drez. We have Kren. Kren, again, was the one that I was thinking because of the knockback, things of that nature. And then let's go with another knockback. You know what? We'll go with some... I don't want to do any more support. I want to do some. Let's go with Ty Lee. You know, of course, Brutus is probably just going to be a monster in this one. Look at that, guys. He puts the buff up on everyone. You can see his three marks right above his head. And he has the knockback. And I'm thinking with the haste, guys, with this ultimate ability in haste, um, even pairing with Scarlet because it does... Um, does an attack boost as well. That he could be pretty, pretty strong, guys. And I think he's going to be a must with Brutus. Guys, giving more attack, giving more haste, giving more shielding to Brutus um, is going to be kind of crazy. That, that's absolutely going to be crazy. Even though the healing's not really there, because remember, it's life lead. It is the damage that it, they're putting out is kind of returned. Um, I, I really feel like with anything that we would see him do incredibly well. Again, I, I like I like the abilities in here, the attack rating, the life leech, 
Um, but of course, the, the haste, the big, big haste buff that we see in here is definitely going to be well, well worth it. All right, guys, so that'll do it for the new hero, um, Salakai. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. It is finally a Mauler support that we could use. We have shielding, we have crowd control, we have life leech, we have haste, um, we have an attack buff. It, it seems like it's going to be pretty good on paper. Sometimes doesn't translate into the game. So again, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.